Um, I gave you a very brief demonstration of muscle testing before, where we were kind of approximating similar responses to what Dr. Goodhart did initially. Now I'd like to give you a sample of uh, more advanced kinesiology today and how it's evolved. Um, would you like to come up? Yeah. So Shelley's never had kinesiology before, but has volunteered. Would you like to lie face up? Maybe slip your shoes off and lie face up on the table. Excellent. So um, it's okay if I touch your body? Excellent. So I'm just going to position your arm and we're going to use that arm to establish an accurate indicator muscle. So I'm just going to take your arm, put it in position. So when the arm's in that position, we're isolating the anterior deltoid muscle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some pressure here and that's going to engage the anterior deltoid muscle. So I'm just going to get a hold. I'm going to build the pressure up. So that's kind of struggling to lock a little bit. Can you feel like it's wavering? Mm -hmm. And hold. So there's a bit of a wobble there. So it means that your body is trying to keep it there, but it's not quite balanced. Mm -hmm. And we'll try this one and hold. And that one's sort of doing the same thing. So what we'll do now is we'll try and find something like we did before um, with Liz that will uh, get this muscle working. So we'll try the vascular point and hold. And we'll try it off. And then we'll try it on again. And that seems to help, doesn't it? Can you feel the difference? Yeah. yeah. So we'll just hold that. So when we hold that point, what it's doing is it's opening up the blood flow to that muscle. So there was a, a doctor called Terence Bennett in the 1930s. And um, he actually used radio opaque dyes injected into people and touched different points on the skull and found when he held different points, the blood would flow in different directions through the body. So when we touch this point now, it's creating more blood flow through that muscle and, and helping it to balance itself. Okay, so we'll reassess the muscle now and hold. You feel the difference? Yeah. So there's not that struggle anymore. And hold. Excellent. <clears throat> so now what we want to do, we want to assess whether your muscle can switch on or off um, because we need it to be able to talk to us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a little reflex test with those spindle cells I talked about earlier, the sensors in the muscle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the muscle together. That's going to tell the brain that the muscle's too short and then what the muscle's going to do is going to relax the muscle because it's thinking it's too short. So I'll squeeze it together and re-monitor and hold. And that's not switching it off. So that means there's some over-energy state in the muscle. So we, we've balanced the under-energy state and we've got to balance the over-energy state. So we can see maybe there's an emotional stress, chakra, flower essence, um, chi harmonics. So when I touch that, it indicates. So now I can look for a point here. Okay, so you just got to touch this acupoint, which is small intestine three, and this acupoint, which is kidney one, and that's going to diffuse excessive stress out of your etheric body, which will then help the muscle normalize. Can you feel any changes? And we'll re-monitor it now and hold. So what we're going to do now is we're going to squeeze the muscle and we're going to see how it responds. So we're going to squeeze the muscle and then hold. And it's still not switching off. Or well, maybe it is and you're pushing. Hold. And hold. Yeah. So what happened is it started to drop and then you pushed back yeah. consciously. Yeah. Because you'll find when it's locking, it'll be effortless. Yeah. And hold. There we go. So, so we're able to switch the muscle on and off by squeezing it. So when I squeeze it, it's telling the brain that it's too short. And then the brain should then relax it to lengthen it. And that's what it's doing now. So now we've got what we call an accurate indicator muscle. So I know the muscle's working. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if your nervous system's working well enough to get information 
from your innate awareness back through the muscle. So now I'm going to check your left right brain integration and hold. Front back brain integration and hold. Top bottom brain integration and hold. So they're all good. And we're going to check your hydration. And that's great. And then we can check your central meridian. So now we're going to do an energy test on the meridian. So we'll run it down and that should switch it off. And it does. And then we'll run it up. And that switches it back on. And then we'll run your governing meridian the wrong way. That switches it off. That switches it on. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a deeper level of brain integration. So remember, we were looking at the three levels of the brain before. So this technique is particularly good in resolving conflicts between the three levels of the brain. Most people can really benefit from this one. And then that'll start to switch off the survival conflicts in your brain. And then that will then help your body to repair because you won't be in as heightened survival state. So now we're touching survival switching point and then deep survival switching point. So we're getting an indication on the deep survival switching point. And that's like a very strong stress. And we can go left, right, front, back, top, bottom. So it's top, bottom, deep survival switching. So it's the different levels of the brain that aren't communicating properly. And we can see what type of issue is at the cause of the deep survival switching. So I'm checking hologram, so it's coming up with a hologram. So the hologram is going to describe to me what the issue is. So this is uh, a process developed by Richard Up for the hologram. So it's come up with a kidney hologram. So the kidney is the object. And now we're looking for the reference. And so the reference is the heart, so kidney heart. And we'll see if it's a thought, a feeling, or an attitude. So there's an attitude. So <clears throat> I'm just going to put your feet together and apart to hold the information. And I'm going to go over and get a book to reference. Uh, kinesiologists use books all the time because the information we can access when we do kinesiology is so vast, it's impossible to hold it all in our heads. So sometimes people go, oh, he was pretty good, but he must have been learning because he kept looking at books. But every kinesiology, kinesiologist reference books because what the innate awareness knows and wants is much vaster than what I can hold in my head. So we're looking up kidney heart as an attitude. Alrighty, so it's coming up with a total mental, physical and emotional fatigue from long-term stress. There you go. And you're at the level of dissolving it, which is good. So you're not at the beginning level of processing it, you're at the end level of it. So maybe you've had a lot of stress in the past, you've recovered from it, but there's still elements of it still lingering. A divorce will most certainly do that. So, So, so I'll just get you to say, I tap into my abundant energy resource. So do you sometimes feel low energy? Your, your energy levels are pretty good? Yeah. So I'll get you to say, I tap into my abundant energy resources. I tap into my abundant energy resources. And hold. All right. I am supported to tap into my abundant energy resources. I am supported to tap into my abundant energy resources. And hold. So that's showing stress. And is that the priority? So that's the priority. So there's something about being supported to access energy that's coming up. And we can't always know what it represents. Often you'll get perspective of that as time goes on. So then we can look at... Um, 
seeing how your brain responds to that from different levels. So I'll get you to say, in relation to that statement, I'll get you to say, I want to. I want to. Excellent. I don't want to. I don't want to. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can't. I think I can't. I feel I can. I feel I can. I feel I can't. I feel I can't. I believe I can. I believe I can. I believe I can't. I believe I can't. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can't. It's safe. it's safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. I accept the consequences. I accept the consequences. I don't accept the consequences. I don't accept, not accept the consequences. It's a big word that one. <laughs> I'm worthy. I'm worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I take responsibility. I take responsibility. I don't take responsibility. I don't take responsibility. Excellent. So some of those statements were in conflict and reversal. So can I get you to put your feet together and apart? That's a way how we, and then take them apart again. That's a way we store information as we go through a balance. So more information, correction. So your body's happy to do a correction now. So emotion, energy, structure, physiology. So it wants to do a sound correction. So the holograms to do with the heart and the kidneys, and they have a frequency. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce a frequency into your body to neutralize the energy of that stress. So, um, so heart and kidney. So I'm just going to go over there and get some uh, sound devices. So each of these tuning forks is tuned to a meridian. This one's tuned to the heart. This one's tuned to the kidney. And so when we hit them, we create a sound hologram. And we use that sound hologram to rebalance your body, uh, which is going to change how you tap into energy. So I'm going to just tap them as a sampler. <coughs> and then I'm going to ask your body how many times you want it dinged. One two, three, four times. Your body wants four dings. And we're going to see where. So around the solar plexus region. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap them four times. So your body has asked for that. And it's told me where it wants it. And it's told me how many times it wants it. So it's a very specific request to neutralize the stress that's in your body. So I'll just start that process.
Excellent. So I'm just going to get you to make that statement again. I'm supported, I'm supported. Uh, in accessing, in accessing. Abundant, energy abundant energy reserves, reserves. Resources. resources. That's it. Excellent. And then I'll get you to say, I want to. I, want to. I, don't, want to. I don't want to. I think I can. I think I, can. Think I, can't. I, think I can't. I feel I can. I feel I can't. I believe I can. I believe I can't. I know I can. I know I can't. It's safe for me. It's not safe for me. I accept the consequences. I don't accept the consequences. I'm worthy. I'm not worthy. I take responsibility. I don't take responsibility. Excellent. And now I'm going to see what's happening with your switching, your deep survival switching. So that's cleared up now, so it's not showing stress anymore. Did you feel anything when we did that? I felt most of my Through your body. Absolutely, yeah. Great. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Well, subtlety can be very powerful when you when when you're unlocking, you know, the healing mechanisms in the body. Thanks very much, Shelley. Well done. Brave woman. <laughs>